Hi friends, since the holidays are upon us and Christmas is almost here, I thought it would be fun to share with y'all some of my favorite Christmas decorations that we have uh, hanging up around my house. Most of them ornaments, one that is not an ornament. I'll save that one for last, but let's jump straight into it. So the first one I have is this one. This is a ornament that um, my mom cross-stitched. Um, she cross-stitched this many years ago um, when my wife and I were first married. We were married in 2008, and uh, we've been, um, uh, you know, happily married ever since. <laughs> and she uh, she cross-stitched this um, on our uh, on our first Christmas as a married couple. My mom is very talented, and she has cross-stitched um, many ornaments for us and and. Uh, um, for her and, and my dad, we all have our own uh, ornament with our, our name on it, cross-stitched, and uh, it's uh, very special to me. The next one that I have is this little uh, Santa Claus. Um, I like this one because um, I really like old stuff. <laughs> I'm like an old soul. And uh, I, I like this little guy. He's got like a little bird in his hand and looks like he's been carrying um, sticks maybe to light a fire. Um, he's just like an old school Santa. And uh, I, I like that. <laughs> I think it's uh, I think it's cool. I like um, kind of reclaiming the old um, pictures of maybe what people used to think of when they thought of Santa Claus. Um, so I think that's a neat one. <laughs> Next one that I have here is this neat little wicker star. Um, I think it is, um, uh, well, for one, I like how it sounds, <laughs> but um, it's also just a, it's just neat. Um, I like stuff that's not made out of plastic, and since this is, uh, you know, wicker, it um, it appeals to me more. I like I like things like that, you know, things that are like burlap or canvas or. Uh, metal or wicker, you know, leather. I like those, you know, more natural looking products, not so synthetic. So this is, this is a neat one for me. Next, I don't even nearly know where this came from, um, but it is, uh, it's so cool. You know, kind of sticks with, you know, my, um, you know, my desire to have, um, you know, old, stuff made out of real stuff in our house, although I didn't buy this. Um, it is much too girly for me, but I'm sure my wife got it, or someone gave it to her, or my mom gave it to us, I don't know. Um, but uh, I think it's I think it's a neat, neat little ornament. Although it's very delicate. It's like literally falling apart <laughs> as I'm holding it. But it's nice. Next up is this adorable little penguin ornament, um, which looks like it would be really easy to make, but I don't think that we made it. I think that we bought it somewhere. But uh, look at this little guy. He's just so adorable. He's even got little red rosy cheeks. And uh, if you shake it, it makes um, this it makes a really cool sound. And I think that's nice. Um, and good golly. He is adorable. <laughs> okay. Next, we've got this little uh, M&M holder thing um, that my, uh, gosh, I guess my mother-in-law gave it to us. It was probably my wife's, um, and they probably had it on their tree or something, um, and she, she gave it to us. Um, it opens up. It's like a little container for, I don't know, candy or something, I guess. But um, it's it's cool. It um, definitely has kind of a retro feel to it. Um, it doesn't have a date on it. I don't know what year it was made. But it looks like a thing that would have been around in the 90s or so. Um, with little m, &M characters on it. <laughs> Next up I have this little tree thing, which um, I, I have no idea where this thing came from, but um, I think it, mostly I like it for the sounds. 
um, because it's got little tiny bells on it, and I think that that's nice sounding. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, it's got some interesting colors on it, <laughs> that's for sure. It's got teal, like a yellow and purple, but um, the little bells are, are nice to sound. Next, we have this little I Love Lucy television. My wife is really into I Love Lucy. Um, before they were all streaming, she had the big, massive DVD box set. And uh, she, um, she would watch them all the time, especially at night to fall asleep. They were very comforting for her. Um, but uh, yeah, someone gave this to us. It might have been my mother-in-law, I'm not sure. Maybe my wife bought it for herself, I don't know. <laughs> But it's a uh, it's a it's a neat one. Um, I love kind of pop culture uh, ornaments, decorations. I don't know stuff like that. So this is a neat one. Speaking of pop culture references, um, I have this really cool TARDIS that one of our friends gave us um, some time ago, and. Uh, it's, this might have been one of our first, like, real ornaments. Um, you know, when we were first married, we, uh, you know, we had, like, the cheapo, you know, five bucks and you get 20, you know, plastic ornaments or whatever. We had a bunch of that kind of thing. Um, and then someone gave this to us. We were like, wow, this is our first, you know, nice ornament. <laughs> and it's surprisingly held up and has not broken despite the fact that the kids like to play with it. Um, but, uh, man, Doctor Who is one of my all-time favorite sci-fi shows, so this is a neat one. Following in pop culture stuff, here is uh, an ornament from Elf. Um, I love that movie. It's one of my favorite Christmas movies. And uh, Will Ferrell is hilarious. And before the batteries died, <laughs> he used to say little things from the movie. It said, like, uh, son of a nutcracker, and uh, I'm a cotton-headed ninny muggins, you know, that kind, of, that kind of stuff. It had a few different sayings that it did. And the kids would press the button ugh, over and over and over and over and over and over, <laughs> trying to, you know, hear every single one. And then the batteries died. And I haven't replaced it because it's one of those little dinky little watch battery things. And like, I just, I never have them at the house. So you gotta go buy them. Wine, 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 wine. I just haven't gotten one put in. <laughs> um, but this is a cool ornament. Next, I have this, again, I don't know where this came from, but it's a really cool little ball. Um, looks like it's kind of a nativity thing. It's got, oh yeah, it is nativity. It's got, um, Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus and some, uh, it has the three wise men coming to see them. And, uh, it's cool. It looks like, it's like maybe like a plaster kind of thing. Um, but, uh, it just looks kind of rough and, and, uh, it looks old-ish, even though I'm sure it's like super new, but it looks old. <laughs> And that's, that appeals to me. I like that. And uh, here is kind of a similar deal. Something that, um, you know, is kind of rough. But uh, this, I believe, is handmade. Um, I think that we got this. Or maybe someone bought it for us. Um, maybe my mom. From, uh, it's like some kind of a of a program where you buy handmade goods from like third world country, people who are making stuff and they get make like a livable wage. And uh, you know, you buy, I don't know, you, it's like a $25 ornament or something like that. And it's like, I don't, maybe it's not that much, I don't know, <laughs> but it's livable wage. You know, an ornament, someone handmade it, it is well-priced and they get, you know, a lot of, a uh, little profit from it. So this is one of those deals. It's a little camel. It's like, um, I don't know, a sheet of brass, maybe. Uh, something. I 
it's like a little uh, camel that someone has cut out and put some little decorations on with a chisel, and uh, it's neat. I like it. And then I've got, I don't even know if this is really an ornament or if it is supposed to, I guess it is, it looks like yarn. It also kind of looks like one of those little fuzzy loofah things that you have in the shower. Um, um, but uh, I guess it is an ornament because it's got a little hanger and it's yarn. Um, but uh, I, I, I like this because it's just such a, it just looks so kind of bizarre. <laughs> it doesn't look like an ornament. The fuzzy ball of yarn, and uh, it's uh, it's it's different. I don't like stuff that's different. And then we have this little doll, which um, I think my mother-in-law gave this to us when my daughter was born um, several years ago. It's like a little doll, and it says "My First Christmas" on it, and it is absolutely adorable. And it reminds me of my daughter every time I look at it. So I like to look at it often because um, I adore my daughter very much. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just a sweet little, sweet little doll. <laughs> and then we have this little Target dog. Um, I assume you know what Target is. Since they're a global company. Maybe you don't. Maybe you live in a part of the world where you don't have Target sort of like Walmart, but way better, in my opinion. Um, and this is one of those ornaments, I think kind of periodically they'll like be giving out free ornaments and stuff during Christmas. And this is when we got like that several years ago. Um, my wife went to go get some other Christmas stuff with my kids, and they came there and they were handing out these ornaments, and they got one for free. Um, looks like it was 2017, just got a 2017 thing on the bottom. And it has been ears have been chipped off and the, <laughs> the feet and the tail have been chipped off but it's still trucking and it's just a cute little, little white target dog and uh, it, it's cute and it makes me happy another cool old Santa um, this one's much larger but um, this one might actually be older the other one I had a smaller one I think that's a new thing that looks old but I think this might actually be an old thing um, older anyway I think we got out of a antique shop or something years ago maybe I'm lying I don't know maybe it's very new but it looks pretty dang old you know so I, I, I like it whether it's old or not and uh, it's got that kind of rough imperfect look to it that I like so much <laughs> Well, this isn't an ornament either. The other ones are ornaments, but this is the last one of my decorations. Um, it's in this cool little box, and it's got, uh, again, cool old, old world Santa looking stuff on it. And uh, it, uh, I think this came from my mother-in-law too, but there we go. Old world Santa Claus is my favorite <laughs> Christmas uh, motif, I suppose. And then the very last thing that I have is this really cool ice skate park. And there's these four uh, little ice skaters that stick to it. They're, they are magnets and they stick to it. And when you turn it on, they skate around the ice skate rink and I think that is super duper adorable and I love it. My wife bought this several years ago and we keep it um, over on uh, the cabinet over there <laughs> and the kids like to watch it and of course they like to take off the little the little kids and they like to play with them but uh, that's okay because they they enjoy it and uh, I I enjoy it and I enjoy them watching it because it's fun and it makes me think of my own childhood so that is some of my favorite christmas decorations that we have in our house right now
So I think I'll leave y'all with this uh, ice skate rink going. I think it's very relaxing to watch, and I hope you find that it's relaxing for you as well. I'll um, just turn on some Christmassy sound effects for you, and uh, then uh, you can enjoy that for as long as you like. Thanks for watching, friends. I'll see y'all later.